how much money is going to come into our theatre in sales. However, if we're going to sell sweets, crisps, drinks at the interval, we're going to need to buy some of those things before the show so we can then sell them in the shop. These are our outgoings, things that we've had to pay money for. So let's make a new tab by pressing the plus down the bottom here and name it outgoings. Okay, so these are things that we're going to have to pay out for. So let's title the sheet as well. And let's also put a note underneath to remind us that these are things, money we've spent. Okay, just in case you get a little bit confused and can't remember the difference between the two because they look pretty similar when you're working on it. Let's just make that title a little bit bigger. Okay, so these are our refreshments again. So maybe let's just do our refreshment costs again. So let's do refreshments. And we need to have our titles again. So we need an item. We need a cost. We need quantity. And we need total. Let's just bold those all so they're nice and easy to find. Now to save us retyping, let's go back to sales. Let's highlight those and let's copy them. So Control and C or Command and C if on the Mac and paste them in. Now we need to make sure that our costs that we bought these things at before the show are lower than what we're going to sell them for. So we were selling sweets for 35p, drinks for 50p, crisps for 35p and our programmes at £4 each. So let's focus on the sweets, drinks and crisps first and just set those a bit lower. Let's say that our sweets were only 25p our drinks were only uh, 25p as well, and our crisps were just 20p. Let's ignore the programs for the moment. Now, once again, we just need to set those as currency, and we're going to say that we bought 100 of each, just so we've got plenty in the shop and we're not going to run out. Once again, we just need to multiply those together to work out how much money we've therefore spent on getting those sweets and things in, and we can use the autofill to copy that down. Now, we've left programs out at the moment because sometimes we might buy an individual thing or pay for a service from somebody else, such as paying for a design and print company for one box of programs or perhaps paying staff for a certain amount each show. So let's say that very cheaply we managed to uh, make a deal for £40 to design and print the programs. Now, we don't really have a quantity because it's just really a box of programs. I suppose you could argue that maybe it's 100 programs in a box. Uh, but these are really not going to be able to be used again if they were for a one-off performance, so you're going to lose the money on that, you can't resell them later. So you just don't leave the quantity empty, or I suppose you could put a one in there if you particularly prefer. So because uh, we haven't been able to either multiply this out, because there's nothing in here, we can safely type the 40 in there. However, if you wanted to put a one in and just make your life a bit easier, uh, you can just continue to autofill down. Right. So now we've got uh, £25 worth of sweets and drinks, crisps at £20, and a £40 box of programmes. We just need to go to total again. So put total there, and we'll use our sum formula again to add things up exactly like we had just done in our sales. Just bold that up. On this occasion, we've only got one set of outgoings because, uh, unless you're going to say uh, cost for running the theatre and go into that much detail, which we don't need to at this level. Um, actually selling our tickets doesn't incur any cost to the theatre. So at the moment that's all we need to do in this video.